Ladies, it is 3.11 in the morning, but we're headed to Colorado. I tried out those heatless curls with like the fuzzy sock and they actually came out really good. <laughs> jeans from Princess Polly and then I'm just gonna do my sneakers and this jacket from Princess Polly. Hey fam, getting ready to board the plane. Here we go, off into this wild blue yonder. <laughs> the TV, and then we have also the outside seating, and the weather is gorgeous. Got a little spoon in it. Oh, they have cute little coasters. Even the cups, look how cute the cups are. Look how gorgeous this bathroom is. Now I'm just gonna get ready and do my makeup for a little party this evening. Tomorrow's the wedding, but tonight's like a little before party. To start off, I'm gonna go in with this Summer Fridays Cloud Dew Gel Cream Moisturizer. I've actually never tried this out before, so it's my first time using it. It feels very cooling, moisturizing. Oh, also a little reading update. I was reading a little bit on the plane. I think I'm like 40, 30 or 40% of the way through Vicious by V.E. Schwab. And I'm loving this book so far. It has like a darker tone to it, but kind of like that like dark humor type of book. I'm really enjoying it. I'm really glad I picked that book to read because it's been on my TBR for a while. Like I've kind of been eyeing it, so I'm glad I finally picked it up. But back to makeup. Also, Colorado, beautiful. It's beautiful over here. We're in a super, super fancy hotel. Everything is beautiful, loving it so far. Then for foundation, I'm gonna go in with this Fenty Beauty foundation in the shade 130. With the Fenty Beauty foundation brush, and then brush on the foundation. And then I'm gonna go in with the new Hourglass concealer in the shade Sepia. The Rare Beauty bronzer stick in the shade Bright Side. Also just pat. Mm -hmm. And then let it sit for like, all right. <laughs> it gets in there. Am I pretty yet? Oh, you're always pretty. You want some moisturizer for your face? It feels luxurious. Oh yeah, summer Fridays for everyone. It feels nice, right? Mm -hmm. Right? Don't you feel pretty and luxurious? Sure. <laughs> so we're gonna let the primer sit for a minute. Mm -hmm. and, then and then we're gonna paint the whole. Yep, and then we're gonna paint the face. You did moisturizer primer. Mm -hmm. Let that sit in for a minute. And now we're gonna go in with the Fenty Beauty foundation, but I'm, for, I'm gonna use a lighter shade for you. It's gonna be 120. It's gonna be a good shade. Trust, trust, trust. And just blend, 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 blend. Blend it on until it looks like your skin. And trust the process. 
trust your sister. Next up, I'm gonna. If you hear screaming in the background, it's just a movie. Don't be alarmed. We're gonna go in with the Luminous Silk Cheek Tint in the shade 62. And now I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Face Powder in the shade 10 Fair Light. Go like this. And I'm gonna put a line here. Next, I'm going in with the Milani Baked Blush in the shade Petal Primavera. And for my eyebrows, I'm going in with the Wet n Wild Eyebrow Kit and taking this middle shade with this little spoolie and I'm just filling in my brows. And then I'm going to take this flat brush and go in with the darkest brown shade and use that as a liner. I think when I look in this mirror, it's not so bad. Yeah, I think it might be, this might be just showing a little too... A little too much. A little too much. <laughs> Maybe a little too clear of a mirror. Oh. No, I think, I think it looks good. The more I back away, the better it looks. Yeah, I like to just look at myself from afar. <laughs> yeah, like the, okay. when I squint my eyes and back away, I'm like, this is perfect. <laughs> well, this, I mean, this is the scariest part of, the, of any makeup routine. Mm -hmm. This little, I, I'm surprised they haven't like come up with a better way. All right, let's get this show on the road, ladies. I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. And then for the lip combo, I'm going with this ColourPop lip liner in the shade Over the Hills. And then I'm gonna go in with this YSL lipstick in the shade 1B. It's like just a very light pink one. It comes on pretty like, it doesn't really come on too much. Like it's not very pigmented, but I like it that way. And then lastly, I'm gonna go in with the ColourPop Lip Plumping Lip Gloss in the shade So Juicy. And it's just like this light pink one. Let's take the hair out and I'll probably have to curl it. an immediate connection to this place and during that trip you know I knew right away that this was the person that I wanted to experience new things with and see new places and it just means a lot to us. I got the white chocolate raspberry one. Very good. I'm very excited. I had the blueberry one there was no more left. There was yeah there was no more blueberry left. Oh, they put more out? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Besties, it is day two of Colorado. I finally got like a good night's sleep. I was running on two hours of sleep all day yesterday. So it was a little rough, but we had a great time. And it's just so beautiful here. Like everything about it, this hotel, this location, it just feels like I'm literally in a Hallmark Christmas movie. It just, like the winter weather, the Christmas decorations, it's just so pretty. So yesterday we had like a little pre-wedding party and the place was really cool. I forgot what the name of it was, but it was a really cool location and it was nice to just like get that time to spend with my family and have a good time. And then this morning I just got a quick breakfast. I got like a raspberry white chocolate muffin. It was really good. And then I also got this ice latte with almond milk and vanilla. Also pretty good. And then today is the wedding day, so we're gonna probably get ready soon, take pictures, go to the church, and then have the wedding reception after. And then tomorrow we leave to go home. I don't know if I showed you guys my fit yesterday. I might've done it on TikTok, so go follow me on there if you haven't already. But I wore this like brown long sleeve, like ruched, kind of like wrinkly, but like on purpose wrinkly type of dress from Princess Polly, which I really love. And then I wore black booties with it and I had my Princess Polly jacket and my Princess Polly bag. I feel like most, like 99.9% .9 of my wardrobe is from Princess Polly. Like I genuinely love all their clothing. So I wore that last night and then tonight, I think I'm gonna wear this like long red dress with some heels. And then I have this like faux fur black jacket also from Princess Polly. But yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna wear tonight and that's my plan.
just went to Yeti's Grind and I got the Rolling Stone, which is uh, oat milk and brown sugar. And it's, oh, this is really good. Really good coffee. Go to Yeti's Grind if you're in the area. leggings from TV Max probably and then my new balance sneakers and that's the fit to go home. So we are officially back in New York. I had such a great time. It was such a cozy weekend. The wedding and the location, everything about it was absolutely beautiful. I had such a good time and I'm glad I got to take you guys along with me. I also just wanted to do a little reading update. So on the way to Colorado on the plane, I read Vicious by V.E. Schwab and loving that book so far. I think I gave a little bit of my thoughts on it so far. I'm loving that book so far. I think I'm about like 40% of the way through it. But then towards like the end of the trip coming home, I kind of wanted something a little bit more fluffy and light. So I picked up the Irregular Society. No, The Very Secret Society of Irregular Witches. I'm I'm so surprised how much I'm liking this book. I'm now like 84% of the way through this book. I was going into this book thinking, okay, like a light fluffy read, like I won't think too much of it. Why is it so good? I'm so pleasantly surprised by this book. I can't describe to you, I could, I'm gonna describe it to you. Basically, imagine yourself on a rainy day, on a cozy, cold winter day, snuggled up in your blanket and you're sipping hot cocoa. That's what this book is. That's what this book feels like. It's cozy, it's comforting, it's found family, it's witches, which when I picked up this book, I thought it was gonna be more like a Halloween vibe, but it's not. It's This is like the perfect time to pick it up, like November, December, because it gives like cozy Christmas type of vibe. To give like a very brief overview of what it's about, it basically follows Micah, who's a witch, and she goes to train these three young witches about magic. And then there's this Irish librarian turned caretaker of the girls and a romance develops, it's grumpy sunshine. And it's very, very cute and sweet. We get his perspective too. I would definitely recommend picking it up, especially around this time. I feel like it's the perfect time to pick this book up. And that's my little reading update of what I read during the trip. I hope you guys enjoyed coming along with me and yeah, like, comment, subscribe, all the things, and I'll catch you besties in the next one. Love ya. Bye.